top U.S. general says Ukrainian forces have broken through Russian main lines of defense in some areas. This post received a score of 21,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Absolutely embarrassing for Russia. Years of propaganda and fear-mongering about the might of the Russian armed forces ruined. Pretty sure that was already true a year ago. The Kharkiv counter-offensive was the death blow to their propaganda. Unfortunately Russian copium is stronger than that. They came up with this narrative that they're fighting all of NATO and all the morons on social media gobbled it up. Comrade, you have been in a cum for two years. What happened in the meantime? We are at war with NATO. Oh my god, how many guys we have lost. About 200,000 inches, and NATO? They haven't arrived yet. That joke gets better with every year. It was good after three months and now it's just great. Come on Ukraine. Fuck up those Russian scumbags. They're already doing this as we speak. Hell yeah. Where, between Robotine and Tokmak, is this defense line located? Zoom in this map. Ruaf has multiple lines of defense on the outskirts of Tokmak. That fortification map is absolutely staggering. It's taken tens of thousands of men to just potentially pierce through one area on one line. The second line looks the most fortified which is insane. Reminds me of WW1 and looks like this shit will drag on for decades, sadly. There's more to it than the number of fortifications though. Russians could heavily mine in front of the first line but can't do it to the same extent in land they may need to retreat through. Manpower attrition and morale play a huge role and Russia are running thin on reserves, needing to take people from elsewhere on the front. When your line is breached it exposes a big weakness, so Russia will have thrown a lot of men and firepower at that first defense. ISW seems to think that they lack reinforcements, so hopefully they won't be able to sustain that for further assaults. Greater than can't do it to the same extent in land they may need to retreat through once they retreat, they reveal their mine-free exit pathways, which can be surveilled from above. Either retreat is slow and methodical enough, they can dig mines along those pathways at night as they're leaving, but if they've decided it's time for a retreat like that, it means they know they're close to losing the area anyway. Mines are able to be launched en masse from extremely far away. Don't need a grunt to place them individually. It's a huge problem for Ukraine right now. What they really needed from Western countries is mine clearing systems before the offensive. Mine clearing is hampered when those mine clearing operations are themselves getting shelled from Russian artillery. You can have mine sweepers all you want, but if you're coming under fire while trying to clear mines, you're gonna have a bad day. Russian artillery is still a problem for Ukraine. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.